Alrighty guys, day one of owning the van for a full 24 hours. I'm on the tools. I'm just going over the water system and I've found some issues that I need to rectify. So I'm gonna put a fitting on this. This is the gray water. So I'm gonna put a fitting on that so I can just easy connect a hose to it and run it off into the grass or something when we're on site. And then this hose here that runs to the filler cap at the top of the water tank is kinked. So I'm gonna run the water through it and see if it unkinks itself with pressure. If not, I'm going to be putting a little elbow on it, which I just found a little elbow in the shed. So if you can see up there, it's all kinked and I'm OCD. So it needs one of these on it, which I reckon I've got. So I've just set the top agree water volume device to litres. It was stuck on gallons because the last couple who had this were from Italy. I'm guessing Italians read through gallons. Uh, so what you do is you just pull the battery out, hold the program button as you put the battery back in and it beeps and that's what changes it from gallons to litres or litres to gallons. So I just filled up the water tank too. So we've got 98 litres. And then obviously as you run the tap, it'll go down. And then when it gets low, it'll start beeping at you. The old owners who originally built this thing, they were good. But they were a bit too, uh, a bit too good. They've done some questionable shit, like just paper. <laughs> but like they were so fussy to the point where these are stick-on um, buttons that go under here to block out each person's reading lamp. And there's even a block out for the skylight. Look at that oh, look, selfie they got these mirror. Slipping mirrors. Getting a bigger table cut in the lounge area. Yeah. Alright babe, what do we got? Pull it. Oh, this thing's hard to steer. Yeah. So we got some uh, a 90, 900 millimeter table now, a bit bigger, so we can fit the two laptops and two dinner plates and just a bit more room. Um, then we got these for the cupboards to get rid of that ugly paper we showed you yesterday. Um, some rust protectant, some putty to seal cracks. the cracks in the timber, and then some satin clear finish to redo all the um, cupboards and kitchen area, and, and then paint brushes, and we're repainting all the wood white. What do we got here? 20 litre porta potty comes with the two juices <laughs> to disintegrate your poo poo and it even comes with the toilet paper that breaks down 100 bucks marketplace very nice I feel like this is going to be a common occurrence Bunnings my new favourite shop just had another off cut cut to make the other platform for the bed because the yeah, one in there at the moment is just so heavy. What All right, three days in, the tools are back out. What I'm doing is I'm changing over the table and swapping it for the lighter wood and then putting the cross beams across to make the platform of the bed a bit more stable so it doesn't bend in, although it shouldn't because it's pretty strong wood, but just in case. And then that's the new table there. So I've got to put the mount from that onto that and then run some crossbars across it for extra strength. All right, so bigger table is on. Just 
just going to put some crossbars across it as well, just because that's what forms into the bed. Right, so what I'm doing here, I've got some fine surface filler. So I'm filling in some of the cracks, like little ones like these. There was a big one over there, so it looks much better now. And then we're going to go over the whole thing with a fresh lick of paint. Coat all the bench tops, the new table. Um, I think the only thing we're leaving is all the drawers, all the paint on the cupboards and cabinetry we're leaving. We're just doing all the all the decking besides the roof, the roof we're leaving. But right now, I'm bogging. I have been under here for hours. I'm cut up to the max. But it's now done properly. A right angle in it and hose clamps. All right, guys, I'm back in the van. Alicia's gone to Melbourne for a girls weekend for her birthday. I'm just masking up everything ready for her to come home and paint later next week. So we're painting pretty much all of this, leaving the cupboards. Yeah, pretty much all the side decking, that's it. Everything else is pretty well. We're happy to leave. Um, maybe just give it a good scrub. But yeah, all the white panels on the sides will all be painted fresh. I bogged it up the other day. Roof staying. So yeah, I'm just going to go through and mask up everything. So it makes her job a lot easier. Everything's pretty good, but like you can see the old owners rubbed it all the little scuffs back to paint it, but never ended up painting it. So we're gonna do all that. Um, just like little marks and shit, little things that I've bogged up, nail holes. Um, I think we wanna do the window sills black, I'm not too sure. Tell you what, when a man's left to do work, we get shit done. portaloo just slips straight in there so what we'll do pull it out chuck it in the hallway and i'm just about to screw toilet roll holder onto that door shout out tarsia twice then i just went and got a freshie the rest are pretty good this one was the only bold one on the wear bar so i thought might as well change it see how these go and then before we go do our lap if this goes all right, between now and then, we will change all four. And this is the 4490 GVM. So I weighed it the other day, it's only 3.68 tonnes. So we have another, say by the time the tanks are filled up, probably another 600, 500 kilo to play with by the time it's fully loaded, which is good because we still got room for maybe a roof decking and a bike rack goes in there. We already got that. Chuck the bikes on the back, maybe a jerry can on the back door and hopefully a ladder on the back door as well so we can climb up, clean the solar panels and do all their maintenance. Wow, what do we have here? Hmm. Instruments to stay cool in the summer weather. So, we went with the Fresca ones instead of the Sirocco, because apparently they're better built, they're Australian made, and they're pretty much the exact same thing, just more heavy duty. So how, that, how do they mount? That will blow some swift air right throughout my noggin. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so that video was a bit all over the place. Um, a few things have changed because we have to take a few of these panels off to fix the shower awning that's on the other side mounted to the to the frame of the actual van so we're going to wait to paint it because we do have to take these off um, and then we're getting the full electrical system revamped um, new MPPT controller DC to DC charger um, 
just a full rewiring. We did have a guy come out the other day and check over the whole van for us just to make sure things were perfect. I told him whatever needs doing, do it. So he'll be doing the shower awning on the other side, fixing that, repairing that, welding it, putting a sandwich plate, making it a bit stronger and reinforced. And then he'll be going through the whole van and rewiring everything because the owners that built the van, they did do it well, but there were some questionable things done and not everything's running very efficiently. So we are gonna be on the road for like a year or so, two years, hopefully for, hopefully a lifestyle, make a lifestyle out of it. So we want this van um, top tier and not having any issues on the road. So um, we've already got three trips planned um, coming up and then next year, later next year or um, January 1st, 2025, we do plan on set and sail and doing a lap of Australia, but fingers crossed we'd leave before then. Um, there's no date at the moment on when we're going to leave. Um, we do know once we do leave, that's it. It's going to be full-time YouTube and full-time traveling until shit hits the fan or we have to come home for some reason. But um, that's the plan. So once we do leave, that's it. So we want to take things slowly, get everything done, maybe work for another six months to a year, save up some money. Um, well, a bit more money. Um, it's going to come in handy on the road because we don't plan on doing too much work on the road unless we really need to or just for like cool experiences. So the more money we save now, the longer we'll be on the road for. So thanks for watching. And uh, the next video will be probably a full van tour or just little bits and pieces of painting it. But um, keep up to date on our socials because we might do the little things just on Instagram and stuff and then the main major big videos we'll do um, on YouTube. Alright guys, so we had some deliveries. We'll unbox that in a minute. We've got a blue smart charger, IP65, which is the 240 volt to 12 volt. So that'll charge all the batteries and everything whilst we're at a caravan park or plugged into mains power. Then we bought two 12 volt Fresca fans, which will keep us nice and cool. And if not, we'll end up upgrading to a um, probably a little portable air con or a um, Dometic on the roof or something. And then this is our new electrical system. Well, in charge of our electrical system, which is all from Renergy. So we've got the, this is actually like a portable mobile type shunt. So this will control and show us the whole um, energy system and what's coming in, what's going out, all the charge. Um, then we've got a Bluetooth one as well, so we can connect to our phone at the same time to know what's what's going on with the batteries, how much solar we're bringing in, just for peace of mind. So they pretty much do the same thing, just one's via the phone and one will be mounted in the van, which is awesome because I'm OCD, so I'll really enjoy watching all the energy type stuff to do with the electrical. And then we've got the 50 amp DC to DC MPPT battery charger. So pretty much, I'm not the smartest with electrical, but this will replace the MPPT charger that's in there at the moment, and the Red Arc system that charges the, the auxiliary battery as we're driving. So this will do all of that now. Um, and again, it's all Bluetooth and um, runs off this, which is a Renergy 1M1. So that's uh, pretty much a shunt, a battery monitor. And this is also a battery monitor, but through your phone. And then this is also Bluetooth. So we'll pretty much be able to run the whole van or know what's going on running the whole van all through our phone. But I'm most excited for this because like I said, I'm OCD and that's something that I'm really gonna enjoy watching as we have like fans running and the fridge running and being renewable and watching what we're having and what we're drawing and what we're bringing in. It's going to be fun. So I'll enjoy that. But yeah, shout out to Renergy. We'll do an update because we've got a guy fitting all of these. And also, I'm not sure if I showed you, we have a issue with the shower mount on the side of the van, which is um, pulled off the actual panel of the van. So he'll be redoing that, re-welding it, re-spraying it, taking out a few boards from the inside um sandwich plating it and then reinforcing it so he's doing all of this and shout out to cozy vans which is a guy in two wells adelaide 
So he's going to hook us up with all of this, installing all of this, redoing the wiring. So we're going to be as efficient as possible and not have to go on grid. But if we do go on grid, this will be charging all our batteries. So then we can go off grid for another 10 years. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we're on the way right now to Cozy Caravans to drop the van off to have its work done and its new electrical system installed. So I will take a few videos when we get there and hopefully we have the van back by next week, ready to take it on our first trip to Wallaroo for the new year. On the way to pick up the van, it's the day we're heading to Wallaroo so it took a bit longer than expected just because we wanted a bit more extra shit done and I didn't expect him to work and bust his balls over the Christmas period so we're on the way to get it and we're going to rush home, pack and then send it out to Wallaroo which will be good because we'll be able to see how the new electrical system works sleep in the van for the first time we've never even, this is our first time just heading away in it and one thing I do know is that it's got a cargo diff in it, so the diff gears are really low. So we may have to change the diff because I don't want to be sitting on around 3,000 RPM at 100 k's an hour throughout the whole of Australia. So we'll be able to work out today whether we need to actually change that or not, or we can just sit on 90 or it's actually efficient at 3,000 RPM. So we had one limp mode, and that's because I was in the wrong gear going up a hill, and the turbo didn't like it. And, I think I've told you this before, but this has got like a cargo carrying diff in it, so the diff gears are hell short. So we need to change the diff gears, but even with these long diff gears, I only used one bar of diesel in 142 kilometers, which is not too bad. And I was doing like 100, 110. So that's actually not too bad. Now we're just trying to find our friend's campsite so we can pull up the bus and take over the whole campsite. Bye. and shine the van is in the background first night slept in beautiful I got a really bad back so and it didn't hurt too bad so I think we might change the thickness of the cushions and Alicia wants to get um, new covers anyway like different style cushion covers but other than that my brother's got full of condensation in his little tent, so he's floating out here, drying it on two deck chairs. Um, so far, so good with the van. <coughs> still getting used to the electrical system, but <coughs> still needs a bit of work done on it. We kind of rushed the guy to get it done because we had to be here this weekend, so. Yeah, Ben, I was just wondering how you... Oh! It doesn't get much better than this. What are you doing, girls? Cooking! Cooking up a storm. First cook-up in the van. 
Got the fresca fan pushing all the fucking smell out. I'll open this as well. There we go, lads. Turn this fan on. Yeah, there we go. Boom. First cook up in the van. Thanks, girls. How was the cooktop? Amazing. Fucking hot. Beauty.